but we do have some upcoming big ticket items, which will be some changes to the boundaries. So we're moving the team across and for... Do I have to be in this meeting? I mean, I could be doing something else, right? I feel like going on an adventure or something. At the end of this slightly dusty road, you'll find the Crab House Badge, a liming spot on the edge of the Carney Swamp. Now, you may be thinking, Brent, you came here just to lime on a badge by the river? Well, not exactly. We're grabbing life jackets because we're not destined to be landlubbers. Instead, we're heading out to the Gulf of Paria for some scenic afternoon views. It's a relaxing ride down the river despite the blazing sun, and in less than 30 minutes, our final destination is in sight. Out here in the Gulf of Paria are the Crab House Cabanas, a series of custom-designed huts anchored to the seafloor. With a little help to tie up alongside, an remote crew is ready to enjoy an afternoon of fun. But first, let's get some food. On the menu is rice, fried fish, and curry goat, which I can't exactly eat because it has too much pepper for me. For others though, some extra heat is needed. Power to him. I'll try my luck with the fish broth bubbling away in the corner. That fish was freshly caught out here in the Gulf of Paria. In fact, this whole area is a popular spot for fishing. But it's not only fish that can be found here. Dive down in these murky brackish waters and you'll also find conks, which, despite the misguided attempts to hydrate them using alcohol, went straight into the pot. The guys even managed to find a muck. No, not him. This brightly colored mollusk here is called a muck. Now, I've never heard of it before, but apparently if you clean it off really well and slice it open, it can be eaten fresh, similar to oysters. And apparently it's quite tasty. Of course, we need a volunteer to um, <laughs> validate that claim. Sashri, what do you think? Looks like the muck has left him speechless. As the sun begins to set and the tunes continue to play, I've assumed a relaxed position to enjoy the view. Don't judge me, it's been a hard week. But others have gone on to more adventurous exploits. This kid is showing everyone how to use the surf bikes. And while he makes it look easy peasy, it's anything but. Welcome to the unofficial Can Anyone Stay On Challenge. Here comes victim number one. And then there's victims two and three. Just enjoy the water, guys, because no one is winning anytime soon. Meanwhile, Colleen has gone fishing and caught exactly two fish. And he looks rather proud of himself too, but that fish that not today, Satan. <laughs> Maybe you want to stick to the weather. Alas, all good things must come to an end. Our boat is here and it's time to head back to our lives as landlubbers. Okay, everybody, so that's the plan for the next few big projects going forward. Um, any questions? What are you doing this weekend? 